This video will teach you how to search for Learn360 content as well as custom content that's been added by Fairfax County Public Schools. Your first step is to log in. In the username box, you will type your domain username at fcps.edu. Please note that using your first name dot last name will not work. Next, enter the password that you've chosen. Once you're logged in, the first and the easiest way to search for content is by entering a keyword. I'm going to go ahead and search for photosynthesis. Next, I'll click the green search button to the right. And you'll notice that I have 134 total search results, which is quite a few. On the left, you'll notice that the, the search term that I typed in appears under You Selected. In addition, I can continue to narrow my search. So for instance, if I wanted to narrow this down to just science and technology videos related to photosynthesis, I see in parentheses that there's 90, I can click on just science and technology and it will screen out the rest of the results. I can continue to narrow my search <coughs> by the subject area. Um, so I could choose environment or earth science or botany, whichever um, is the area that you're interested in. So I'm going to continue to narrow my search by selecting environment, which has 10 videos uh, related to photosynthesis. So now I have a more manageable list to look at. As I begin to scroll through my list, I might notice that what I'm looking for is not there. So some of the strategies you can use um, would be to back out of your search a little bit and broaden it back out. There's two ways to do this. On the left, under the You Selected area, I can remove a search term by clicking on the red X and that will broaden back my um, search. Also, across the top, you'll notice a breadcrumb trail. Again, I can back out of my search by clicking on any one of the search terms and it will you know, broaden my, my search the further back I go on the bread, breadcrumb trail. Once you've narrowed your list, there's a number of things that you'll want to pay attention to. Uh, Learn360 has a number of different video formats uh, or media formats available. So I'm going to back out of my search just a little bit. I'm going to remove the word environment so that I, I can come back and I'm going to remove science and technology too. I want to show you the different types of media format that are available. We have full videos, video clips, images, articles. Um, there's also speeches and um, custom videos or things that Fairfax County has either produced or procured. And we're going to talk a little bit more about custom videos in just a moment. Um, as you look across the top of your search results, you'll see different tabs, uh, which will get you to articles and images and the different types of multimedia that we just discussed. And then you'll also notice this custom content tab. Again, custom content is uh, content that is produced or procured especially for Fairfax County Public by Fairfax County Public Schools or bought especially uh, for public, Fairfax County Public Schools. So if I click on custom content after doing a keyword search I should see anything that has been uh, added to the Learn360 library on purpose which means uh, these are most likely the types of videos that uh, instructional services specialists have correlated to some of the lessons. Now not all of uh, the correlations will be under the custom content tab, <coughs> but when you click there you can be sure that what you find has some relation to our curriculum. A um, few other things about your search results. You can view your results as a list, which you see here. You can also click on the grid view and the grid view will allow you to see more on a page. The one thing that the grid view doesn't allow you to get to though are the uh, standard correlations. So if you want to see standard correlations you'll have to go back to the list view. Once you're in the list view you can expand um, and let me go back to all content here. Once you're in the list view you can expand to see which state standards uh, this correlates to. You can uh, jump through the pages of results. So if I wanted to jump to page three, 
I can type a page 3 up here and go to page. I can show additional results per page. I can go back and forth with my arrows. And here you'll see this is an example of an article as opposed to a video. So I'm going to go back to page 1. And you'll also notice that you have the option to add this to your playlist. So if you teach the same grade year after year, you could build your own playlists tied to your account for all of the units that you teach so that you, next year you won't have to go and, and search for any of those videos. The next way to search is by going into the advanced search. So I'm going to click on the, the blue hyperlink at the top of the page. By going to the advanced search, it gives you additional options to, to narrow your search a little faster. However, the danger in this is that you might narrow it too much and miss out on some good content. So you have to balance um, your searching techniques. Again, you can start with a keyword. You could start with a subject area. You could choose your grade level. You can search specifically for a type of uh, media format. So if I wanted to search for video speeches, I could search for that. If you have a favorite publisher, you can look and select everything by that publisher. I know our science folks uh, it really like VLS. Uh, it's one of the favorite publishers for science. If you have a particular series that you enjoy, and your students enjoy, you could select the series. And if you wanted only the most current content, they do give you an option for searching the current year from 2007 to the present and then a few other selections as well so you can control um, how current the content you get uh, back is. In addition, there are some titles in here in other languages. So if you're looking specifically for another language, um, you can select that. You can also use these check boxes at the bottom to include titles that have teaching resources. Um, if you teach hearing impaired students, you could uh, include titles with closed captioning. If you have sight impaired students, you can include titles that have an audio description where it describes what the child would be seeing on the screen. And then lastly, if your students are looking for uh, videos or if you're looking for videos that you could edit and maybe combine with other videos or combine with your own video, uh, Learn360 uh, does give you a way to find out which of their titles are editable. So if you are seeking to do that, you'll want to search just for editable titles. So that's how to search in Learn360 and how to find our custom content that we've added. Um, and good luck searching, and I hope your students enjoy Learn360 videos.